Time to talk with our friends from CHI Memorial. We got a special topic we're going to be discussing this afternoon. A mental health first aid class is what we're going to be discussing and tell us all about it. Uh, we've got two different guests that's going to be with us, one on the phone and one here in person in our studios. First, we'll introduce our in-studio guest. Nicole Brown is here with me. She is the manager and community benefit and diversity coordinator there at CHI Memorial. Then on the phone with us is Monica Burke. She's a certified mental health first aid instructor, uh, both with CHI Memorial once again. So we're going to welcome both of you ladies in. Monica, uh, good afternoon to you. And Nicole, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Dwayne. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, well, we, uh, I guess uh, we got a little bit of a delay on the phone there. So uh, Monica, how are you this afternoon? I'm sorry I didn't catch you there. I am doing great. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. Well, let's just go ahead and dive right into our interview. Monica, we're going to start off with you. What is a mental health first aid and who should take this course that we're getting ready to talk about? Okay. Okay. So just says CPR helps you assist an individual who's having a heart attack. A mental health first aid helps you assist someone experiencing a mental health a substance misuse crisis. In the mental health first aid course, you learn risk factors and warning signs for mental health and addiction concerns. You learn strategies for how to help someone in both a crisis or non-crisis situation. And this is where we turn to get help. And as far as who, who would need to uh, should take the course, these are adults who work with other adults adults who work with youth, and adults who work with seniors. Again, we're speaking with our friends from CHI Memorial. Join us is Nicole Brown and Monica Burke. Our topic today is mental health first aid classes. And uh, uh, now we're going to come over to Nicole, who joins us in the studio. How did CHI Memorial get involved in offering this course to our community, Nicole? So I actually love this question because, you know, we at CHI Memorial believe in listening to our community. So in 2019, we did the community health needs assessment, and the community said we need more mental health awareness support first aid training for free and so that's how when we think about creating healthier communities that's exactly what we're able to do with this particular program and our grant uh, yeah based off of the community of telling us what they needed all right uh, come back over to the phone line there where Monica is on the phone with us Monica how does this course work give us the the, the ins and outs of that okay so we offer in-person training as well as virtual classes and then we also do special group classes. And the class consists of two hours of pre-work and a half day of class. Uh, the participants, and this is the great part, the participants uh, earn a certificate that's good for three years, certification that's good for three years, and uh, it can also be renewed online after the three years. Good information we're getting here from our friends from CHI Memorial. Nicole is here with us again. Nicole, is there cost uh, to take the mental health first aid course? It is absolutely free, F-R-E-E. -E. And so when you think about how we are fortunate to have the grant that helps us uh, be able to serve underserved communities, and so when you think about uh, organizations that want to have the training, uh, individuals, it is absolutely free. And there's a quote that I want to share from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Uh, on an average, 123 people die by suicide, wow. and that is by a day. So when you My think goodness. about mental health first aid training and this opportunity to take it for free, we encourage everyone to uh, send us an email so that they can get into the classes. I'm a participant. I have my three-year certification starting in August, so I'd like to share the email if, if that's possible. Absolutely. And so it is mental health first aid uh, chat. So it's M-H-F-A-C-H-A-T-T -T at gmail.com. And make sure you spell chat, C-H-A-T-T. <laughs> All right. I guess a question that I have, and either one of you ladies can uh, can chime in on this, Nicole or Monica, either one from CHI Memorial. Now that uh, we're still, unfortunately, so battling with this pandemic, do you see more need for this now than probably pre-pandemic? I'm going to say yes and yes and yes, and that's yeah. why with this training, you know, everything, the materials are covered, everything that participants need. And so Monica is working directly with residents in our communities, and she can probably share more testimonials about the need. Monica, can you do that for us, please? I can. Um, 
can. Thank you. So uh, doing the, the statistics here in Chattanooga, one in five adults will experience a mental health challenge. And then with the onset of the pandemic, it has greatly increased. And so you're saying one in five, was that the statistic? Yes. Oh my goodness. That's one in five. So if you line up five people, what do you have? Yeah, you, you got four that, that <laughs> one out of one out of five is giving you four that's not being affected by this basically. So really in a family of, of, of most sizes, which are gonna be when I say family, extended family, 10 to 15, 20 people, there's probably four to five people that could possibly experience this. Absolutely. And when you think about the athletes and the recent news about Mental Health First Aid, when you think right. about celebrities and them coming forward and saying, I need to take care of myself. But we have this free training to help all of us help take care of each other. Well, we're going to revisit how you can be involved with this in just a second. Again, our day, uh, our topic today is mental health first aid classes. You know, we think about first aid for other things. We think about first aid for people, uh, CPR and the other things that we all feel we need to know about. But uh, there is other aspects as, the, as we've all evolved. You know, with, with, with the world and everything that's a part of it now, uh, there is other areas of life that we need to make sure we're prepared for, for that first aid if it is needed. Right. And so with Monica and Carol, those are our mental health first aid educators. They can now train for uh, young people and adults. At first it was adults, but now they can do the youth training too. Now, when you say young people, uh, there again about what what age, when you say young what age groups are, are we are we talking about really for those young people so i'll let monica answer that question because she's our certified trainer okay monica <laughs> yes okay so this is for adolescents like from the age of 5 up to like 12 or 13 5 to 12 and 13 you just i'm i'm sitting here kind of astonished i wouldn't think in that age category that these folks would be a part of this, but it, it just goes to show you how diversified that, that, that this actually is. And when you think about the COVID and the loss of uh, family members and right. parents and children are here alone, um, you know, they're being taken care of by someone else, then we have to check on them too. I'm gonna right. ask both of you guys a question and, and you can answer it in your own specific ways. Uh, uh, what, what, is, what is some of the things that uh, as we go through this, it, it is a misconception. You know, we always get involved and we always kind of put things in this neat little box that we think, well, you know, if this is going on, this is why, and if this is happening, here's what we need to do. It's, it's not always a tidy little fix. So I guess my, what, what, are, what are some of the misconceptions that we would probably be misled on this right so monica I, i'd like to share first and and when, okay. and, and let because you are our expert but when i think about the minority community which i'm a part of uh, when you say well hey maybe i'm dealing with something you are shunned and you are dismissed as though that's not true nothing's wrong with you you need to take a nap or you need to take a vacation when it's like i really need to be addressed i'm speaking out loud please listen to my voice I'm asking for help if I come to you and say something's wrong. But in, in, in the community that I grew up in, it was kind of like, don't say that. Right. When things have prayerfully have changed in today's time. That's good stuff. Uh, Monica, for you, what, what are some of the misconceptions that, that, that you kind of, the cookie cutter things is just really not a true statement? Right, one of the main things is that uh, mental health is not common. And it is very common. As we know, we've already said one in five adults. And then going back to the youth, the adolescents, we have uh, anxiety to start as early as the age of four. Mm. So we do definitely need to pay attention to our youth as well as everyone else. But they are also, you know, having issues as well. As I asked that, that first question, what, uh, speaking of, of the youth, that, that's a topic I think a lot of, perking a lot of parents' ears today when, when they hear these topics. What are some of the early telltale signs? Uh, and, and, and we're gonna address that to both of you guys as a question again. What, what do you think as a younger child that may be a part of a family member's, you know, could, could be in-law family, uh, it could be your immediate family, whatever. What are some of the telltale signs you could say, you know what, we, we may need to investigate this a little bit more? 
Okay, I'll be happy to take that. So okay. when it's, uh, mental health first aid, it teaches you how to identif identify signs and symptoms. So for the youth, say for instance, you had a really active child and all of a sudden they're withdrawn, they're not talking, uh, they're not doing well in school. They just have to kind of check out a little bit and you've noticed that. And so that is sort of a sign that there may be some concern. Now we know we're gonna have good days and bad days, but if you have a consistent behavior where a child is withdrawing or they're acting out, it's time for concern. And, th and that's a part of this first aid course that's gonna teach you how to look for these signs and then some yeah. of the proactive things that you can do early on to maybe eliminate, unfortunately, the far end of the spectrum, which is a suicide or something like that, correct? Right, and it teaches you how to go and have, have them get some help. Yeah. And yeah. so um, to answer the, my portion of the question when you talked about some things, what Monica's response was, I have a friend who lost a son recently by suicide, and, and they, as parents, uh, him and his wife didn't see the signs. So that this, if they were through this course, this might have been something that could have sparked uh, uh, the conversation, at least between the, the, the spouses, to say, hey, we, we may have an issue here uh, right. because of this course that we've been through. Right, because imagine yeah. your, young, uh, <clears throat> your young child, young son, young daughter at the dinner table doing everything in the house, and what we would say normal, right. uh, but then internally the child is dealing with something. And so if you saw some signs, then maybe our loved ones would be here today when you think about our young people. All right, so th th this is really an important topic first uh, that, that we're talking about here, folks. So we hope that you will uh, consider signing up for this and being a part of this. And Nicole, let's come back over to you. Tell me how I can get uh, the information, how I can get uh, these classes that are offered. Absolutely, we have classes coming up January 15th, 18th, and 27th, and more throughout the year. Mental Health First Aid Chat at gmail.com. So that's M H F A C H A T T at gmail.com. Yeah, it's right now is the time to have that conversation when we're uh, here. And, it, it, you know, and I think a lot of times we have people come in our studios, we have these type of interviews, and I say this is the time because a lot of times it's hard just to, what I would say, cold turkey to start having a conversation with someone. You're sitting there and you're kind of fidgeting, like how can I bring this up to where I don't offend someone or I don't kind of go down the wrong path and just really turn this into a bad situation. I say use interviews like this where you can sit down in front of a loved one or someone or, or family members and say, look, heard this thing on the radio, made me think about this, made me have some conversation. It gives you a way to open up that conversation in a non-confrontational way that you can do that. So I think uh, this afternoon, if you are someone that, that is out there and you feel like this was directed directly at you, take this opportunity to move forward with this, either uh, uh, have conversation or definitely sign up for these classes. And who knows, you could be saving you, uh, an immediate family member's life at some point. Uh, so I'm gonna close here. I'm gonna give uh, Nicole and Monica both a, a little closing segment here. Nicole, we'll start with you. Uh, anything else that you feel is a pertinent information to get out today? I think it's important for first responders, educators, uh, council people, uh, communicators in the profession, everybody, if you can hear me, you need to take this training so that you can help our community. Good stuff there, Monica. Now, uh, maybe, uh, Nicole, Monica, we're gonna close with you. Uh, what have you got for us? Okay, so you were talking about like speaking to your family members or someone close to you. So this course actually teaches you what to say, how to say it, and, and it gives you your words because your words are very important. Sure. So it teaches you how to respond, which is really important. So we strongly encourage the community to get involved so we can save some lives. Good stuff. Again, our topic today was mental health first aid classes, and uh, you need to be involved in this. As uh, Nicole was saying, anyone that's listening to this broadcast this afternoon or watching it on Mix TV, please get involved. Be a part of these classes, and uh, you just never know when you're going to need this at some point in your life. Absolutely. All right, uh, so that's going to wrap it up. Uh, uh, Monica and Nicole, thanks so much for the interview, <laughs> and uh, we look forward to hopefully send some people in to get those classes in. Thanks for having us Thank on Mix 104.1.
All right, uh, this is Dwayne with the Mix Afternoon Drive. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes.